Special K Nourish celebrates women who are breaking boundaries and nourishing what's next. Sama means equal in Sanskrit. I actually have it tattooed on my right hand. And it also means balance. So my morning starts at 6 a.m. I typically get up and I write morning pages. And then I meditate for 20 minutes a day. I used to be less religious about my meditation practice until an amazing teacher told me that you should meditate as if your life depends on it. And I've noticed that in business and relationships and life in general, it's really helpful to separate an initial stimulus from your reaction. I sort of came to these things through necessity, so I was really struggling with just challenges that were happening at work and the impact that they were having on my happiness, and I decided that if I wanted to control my own internal responses and be a happy person, that I would have to learn more about the neuroscience behind meditation and behind yoga. Being grounded in the morning to me means reconnecting to that idea of the universal and realizing that it's not just about me and my petty problems, but it's about this greater universe that I'm part of. So I founded Sama in September 2008, and originally we had four people who were working in Nairobi who came from slum backgrounds. The model was that I would win contracts from Silicon Valley and then teach the people who came from slums and rural areas and low-income geographies who we were able to recruit to do these tasks from local computer centers. Since that humble beginning, we have now provided work to over 7,300 young people, women, refugees, and others from marginalized groups in developing countries. And we have impacted over 35,000 people if you count the people in their households who depend on that income. Hi, Prudence, this is Lila. Hi. <laughs> So you're in the Sama office now in Nairobi? It struck me as a crime that so much human talent goes to waste in developing countries and that people who are living in extreme poverty have no chance to contribute their talent to the rest of the world. When did you get the job at Sama Source? I got a job two months after graduation. Okay. Most people want work. They want the same things that you and I want. They want the chance to earn a paycheck and to use that money to provide for themselves and their families and to choose what they'd like to buy with that in a market economy. Andrew is a photographer and he could maybe train you how to use the camera and you could start doing that. <laughs> I was not interested in the traditional charity model. I felt like we were writing off the talent of a, you know, billions of people by not really seeing them as productive workers, but by seeing them as people who were victims and who needed handouts of some sort. That was the idea that we initially tested with Samasource. I think it's easy to assume that people who do social justice work are saints somehow, or they're, they're made of different stuff, or they were raised differently, or they're just good-hearted people and the rest of us are different. That really bothers me because I think it absolves everyone else of the responsibility to do something. I guess for me how I do it is, is grit. I think that getting up every morning and choosing to continue doing work that's aligned with my values and choosing to spend time with people that enrich my life and that make me happy. And it took me a long time to really understand that I didn't have to let my life be driven by what simply came into it or what I was exposed to, but rather to choose what I wanted to make my life about.